This is a lot. This is top end gear. I mean, I know he's rich, but you can launch a rocket from in here. Charlie would say this guy is a fractured psyche. That he's wearing a mask to put what he's doing on a different personality. That's probably just his theory, because he can't reconcile a human doing this stuff. What do you think it is? I think it's a mistake to say he's just crazy. He is in full control of what he's doing. I 1000% agree with that. He's just not wired like the rest of us. What's the difference? Crazy implies out of control. Look at this place. This is methodical. That's not crazy. No. Yep, he thought about all this stuff. Wait, he's wearing the mask as part of the performance. At best, maybe he's insecure about something and it gives him confidence. Insecure? Like, low self-esteem? Is he uncomfortable at parties? Does, did his mommy not hug him enough? No, it's just he took way too much inspiration Aaron from H.H. H. H. Holmes. Be a factor, but it could be a shitty dad just as much. Or an uncle. Any adult figure, really. Take a look at this. What is that? The guy we saw murdered. It was a setup? There was no groundskeeper. Why would he do that? To scare us. To get us in the mood for his fun and games. Nice. I forgot to say, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus yeah. Christ. I, just set up the lights. I forgot to say, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to part three sure of this well. walkthrough. Bullied as a kid, unchecked anger. As an adult, he's either an extreme overachiever or a cipher. Nothing between. He's been tracking us since we arrived. Mark was last seen in the basement. He likes being in a position of power, especially over women. But why this? Why us? Aside from the unhealthy obsession with H.H. H. Holmes, he's copying the M.O. Clearly, he identifies with Holmes somehow. How did he build all this? Can we use... Chicago Police! Mr. Monday, this is Chicago Police. Can you open the door, please? Mr. Monday, I'm Officer Stanley with Chicago Police Department. Can you hear me, sir? Agent Monday. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. Uh, dispatch, this is Officer Stanley. I, I need assistance at 8 West 50th Street requesting immediate backup. I'm in Agent Monday's apartment. There's, there's blood everywhere and, and a body. I need immediate support. I think... Oh, oh, Okay, so I'm curious. Dumont, is Dumont just his, like, stage name or whatever? Hey, it really is Agent Monday. He's the actual killer. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot to say what is up, ladies and gentlemen. So welcome back to part three of the Devil Enemy walkthrough. Welcome back. Might be the final part. Who knows? full circle let's go up there's a lot of crap here y'all
Look at this. It saw his little tricks of moving walls and crap. Nothing in this shit box is real. He controls everything from here. It's a murder factory. You're right. We should use this against them. I want to find Mark, not play Demet's game. If we trap him, we can look for Mark without looking over our shoulders the whole time. Jamie's right. Okay, look. He's in here, right? So we get him to go down this hall, and we trap him between these two moving walls. There's no other way out of there. He'd be stuck. So how do we get him to go down that hall? One of us is going to have to be bait. No, no way. It's too risky, Jamie. So is letting him run free. I'd say that's more dangerous. Come on. No, no, no way. If something goes wrong, one of us will be dead. Yeah, I'm not super into doing it, but I am done being scared of what's around every corner. There's no second chances here. Who's going to do it? It's my plan. I'll be the bait. Jamie, no. Let's find another way. You don't have to do this. One of us has to. If you're sure, just... If it looks like it's going south, get the hell out of there. No argument here. We might need a screwdriver. It's the closest thing we have to a weapon. Here, take it. If the mech comes for you, fuck his shit up. Please come back. That's my plan. Okay. That's enough of a moment. Let's do this. Stick to the plan. Obviously. So how do we get out? Third floor must be a work in progress. Okay, be ready. You're gonna have to time it right to trap him and not me. Be careful, please. I'm on it. You'll be careful? If I see Demet, he'll wish I hadn't. Don't. Be serious, please. Just tell me you'll be careful. Tell me I'll see you again. Erin, I promise. You'll see me again. Good, because I think I, I think I love you. Or something. I, I mean... Well, now I have to come back. All right. Here goes nothing. <sighs> Pretty ballsy. All right, Jamie. We're all in this together. I'm gonna make sure you get out of this one alive. Head down the hall. Keep to the right. Was this on the map? I have no clue. Well, this is clearly trouble. Wait, could we have jumped through that? I saw that one coming. More rooms being built. Huh. All right, come on, let's go do this.
These bitches like walk over here. Did the game freeze on me? Nope. Shit. Come on, bitch. How do you catch up so fast? Why not just run around? It, it makes a complete circle. Just run around. <gasps> this isn't helping my anxiety. symbol on it w what does it Shit, no I mean, she has the screwdriver. She should be fine. I'm sorry, I have to. I'm sorry. way to go Jamie pressed the button to kill Kate I know they didn't always see eye to eye but I didn't think she'd be that cold-blooded 
Meanwhile, Charlie has proved himself capable, surviving the furnace and every other obstacle. Who would have thought it? Did the hint I gave you earlier help? Perhaps you'd like another. Sure, I totally forgot the hint, what the hint was. Let's see if Sir Arthur can help us. This is from The Man with the Twisted Lip. Have you read it? You should. A trusty comrade is always of use, and a chronicler still more so. I think that last bit might refer to me. You should get back. I hope these chats are helpful. I certainly wouldn't want them to be intimidating. I'll be watching your progress. As always, watching very closely. You okay? Do I look okay? Fuck. Let's not hang around. Aaron! What happened to you guys? We're both alive. That's all that matters. There he is! Is he gone? I really hope they get this a freeze when there's like a Q2E. I don't fuck this up. Oh God.
Is he really just choosing randomly? Uh, I don't know. I mean, he's around the corner, so we should stay. Oh, God. the key to E. She looks, she is so skinny. What just happened? Uh, we gotta return the favor for saving Jamie. Jamie, run! Stay away from me. Take back all the times I called you bitch face. You're my fucking hero, King. I figured if I let you die, you... You'd haunt me. You're not wrong. You okay? I... Yeah. I think so. Fuck yes. Suck it, the Met. Holy shit. Rot in hell, asshole. You always check if he's dead or not. I know one of y'all got something sharp, you can stab him. See, this is what happens. Going. Hurry up!
making the person who has really bad asthma do the breathing thing <laughs> wow and a lot of it too Aaron you all right I got lucky Let's get the hell out of here. Man, these breathing QTEs are gonna make my finger go, you know, my trigger finger go bad. Like I'm all nervous and everything. This is freaking me out. Oh goodness gracious. Does every asshole need a maze? I don't know why you two are following me. I don't know where to go. Listen, there's something I noticed about Dunep. What? Okay, listen, when I was a kid, I didn't speak much. Big surprise. No, I mean, like, at all. They called it selectively mute. Like, I could talk, but I chose not to. And what's that got to do with Dunep? We've never heard his voice. So... One of the things they said about it, the psychologists, was that I was hiding. That I was scared that if I spoke, I would give away my identity. That's the same as Dumet. Obviously, he wants to disguise who he is. No, it's more than that. There's a conflict in his identity. He doesn't even know who he is. It's like he's caught between being two people. Or he's trying to separate the killer from the regular guy he is the rest of the time. Maybe. Well, good thing you didn't become a killer. Give me time. Kept thinking he's this Monday dude. All right, we should follow these wires. They're leading somewhere. Is there like strap nothing I could do here? Find the missing electrical switch, of course. Excuse me, darling. Okay, ain't over here. Maybe somewhere to our right. Well, Jamie's over here, so I'm guessing. Yeah, probably. This is upstairs. Maybe we can get this thing working. No point, no power. Okay, excuse me, drop it down. How long has everyone been here on this little island mansion thingy? Like a few hours or something? Let's cry some money, it's still dark. All of the lights, all of the lights. Woo woo. Oh, 
Okay. I'm just on the backtrack, Resident Evil style, y'all. Hey, button one. Button two. Button three. How does do my even survive a drop like that? Like, I don't, I don't think he's some vengeful spirit like a ghost or anything like that. Good morning, Chicago. We begin today with some breaking news. Chicago police today confirmed the body of a man found in a fire at an abandoned warehouse in the Fulton River District to be that of missing FBI agent Hector Monday. Monday has been identified as the shoeshine killer whose recent killing spree struck fear into the hearts of locals in and around Chicago. A spokesperson for Chicago PD confirmed Monday murdered four victims, including yesterday evening police officer Patrick Stanley, a dedicated veteran of 22 years. The fire was brought under control shortly before 5 a.m. this morning. The body recovered at the scene was burnt beyond recognition, but police identified Monday from dental records. Okay, well, there's that. He's not the he's not the cop. I thought he was. I guess the monster passed on to this dude. I still have no idea what these tokens do. I'm not gonna say I found them all, you know, Pokemon style, but maybe a fair amount. What to say? Did the other two not follow her? Man, I wish Wednesday Adams would make a freaking cameo of this. She fuck shit up on freaking Dumont. I just got done watching Wednesday on Netflix. I liked it. read his name somewhere.
Alright, it seems like this is the way out of the maze. Uh, we came from that way, right? Nope, we did not come from this way. And that way it's locked anyways. Great. Jesus. What are those things? Barricade. Look, try that door. Run. Run. Hey, go the door. Okay, back is Mark. Damn it. Okay, we need to find to get. We need to find a way to get inside here. This place has a swimming pool area and reaction lights. I know it's not called reaction lights. What, what is it called? Something lights. All of the lights, all of the lights. All right, it's, it's way too dark right here. We don't have like a good flashlight or nothing. It's all a dream. I'm a beast that needs to be tamed. Eating my wings, eating my wings. Helsing dog. Jesus. Bad. It did look like this island had like a swimming pool area or mansion or whatever.
find our way out. Oh, God. What happened here? At this point, is that a question that you should ask? What happened here? What's that? It's like, y'all, we already know what happened here. I didn't even expect to uh, like move it around. The wedding ring from 08. But this dude has been killing for like almost. Oh. oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, that one got me because I knew we heard the noise. We heard, we heard the noise. I knew something was coming, but I just, my mind wasn't like focusing on like, all right, something's probably going to happen. That hurt. Like, God, Jesus, my heart sank a little bit. Man, it's almost four in the morning. I'm busy playing this right now. Oh, my God. And the mannequin head just turned back right there. Is not looking at me anymore. All right, hold on. I need to take another. Oh, whew. I need to take another breather right here. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. Sorry, y'all. Like, I don't mind horror games and whatnot. It's just like... Eh. What the hell? Okay, Mark gets spiked somehow. Mark your bark. Why does everything got to be locked? I want to like I want to see like a game developer make a game a horror game like this where the group actually sticks together and has like a weapon. Because we all know shit might turn out a little bit differently. Okay, let's get this door unlocked. Be 
do 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 do. Zelda me, Zelda me. We all know when Waker's the best. I mean, it's the last Zelda game I played, so. On the GameCube. When I was, what, like, 10? When did Waker come out? 04? No, that doesn't seem right. Okay. Can't climb up there. Hang on. Is that something right here? That was just that flash of light all the way over there. Nope, we can't jump down. All right. So I'm guessing we're almost close to the end of the game since so it's almost. Nope. I was like, yeah, it's almost daylight. I'm like, no, that is that beautiful full moon. Hello? Okay, there's a... A pub. Probably was chased by a dog. Mysterious creature. Okay, seems like we got three ways to go. This is a dangerous game, my man. Charlie, I, 
thought you were dead. I nearly was. I'm sorry for that. I, I thought... Uh. Oh, God. I'm so glad we're both alive. I, I nearly went up in flames. I know. We saw it. You saw it? On a monitor. The, the whole place is wired. Where are the others? Mark, are they, are they safe? We were all separated trying to get out. Gamet has the entire place rigged with traps. We followed right into his game. We have to get out of here. Get back to the ferry. Gamet disabled it. We all agreed we'd head for the lighthouse if we can't signal for help. I don't suppose there's any good news. Actually... <laughs> I never thought I'd say this again. Reunited is kind of feels good. Jesus. Did it just get like really dark behind me? I mean, if there's a way. Ah, ladder, okay. I was about to say, like, hopefully, like, maybe Mark like boosts me up. Don't need a booster. Boy, Mark, you lucky you like right there, dude. Maybe that's what Dumont wanted. Come on, Charlie. Come on, Charlie. There we go. That's here. Shall not win today. I'm guessing the dog was one of the previous uh, uh, victims. We can save the dog too. We saved the dog. If that dog dies. Who bad? Who bad? Hell to pay. How's your head? Two victims discovered with head switch. What type of freaking headline is that? Oh God, I know. No pun intended.
this dude got the light on? This dude got his had his freaking lighter on. Oh my god. What What is he doing? He's preserving his kills. Why? Because they're valuable to him. The trophies. Keep sex. Dimash sure seems to know a lot. Do you think maybe we're dealing with more than one person? What do you mean? Tending this place, the weird robots, the traps. Could it be just one man? It's one man. One very driven. Very disturbed man. I mean, he seems to be in a lot of places very quickly. So I would say it's not out of the realm of possibility that there's two of them. Or maybe even three in each section of the, uh, of the island. All units, this is dispatch. Be on the lookout for a male suspect believed to be the Shoe Shine Killer. Suspect is FBI Special Agent Hector Monday. He may be armed and is highly dangerous. Dispatch, this is Officer Martinez. I found Monday's car, requesting backup. Officer Martinez, what's your location? A warehouse on Park Avenue, Fulton River. Looks abandoned. Officer Martinez, backup on its way. Hold your position. Copy that. Shit! Me. Officer Martinez, hold your position. Oh. Uh. Uh. Shit. We have a situation. Dispatch, the building's on fire. Fire department on their way. He's still in there. You read me. Copy. He's still in there. Wait, so I thought they found uh, Monday was killed. Which one is it? Is, is, is the, are we dealing with Detective Monday? That's our way out. Ugh. Ball sack. You're joking. Flashlight would be lovely right now. There's a box in this room. I have no idea what this box is for. It's to get up somehow. Can't go up that far. Right here. <laughs> Not 
Not gonna lie, that was creepy. Harrison and Lewis. Okay, we found the other wedding ring. Okay, we need to get the bloody hell out of here. It is like way too bloody dark for its own good. Jump over, Charlie. I'm guessing we're going to push this down, huh? Well, thank you, mate. to get to the lighthouse. She knows that. <clears throat> I'm worried about Erin. She's tougher than you give her credit for. What if she's hurt? If we go off book, we're just going to make things worse. Let's stick to the plan. What if she can't stick to the plan? Don't worry, your boo's okay. You need to worry about us for her in the moment. Okay, climb it up. At this point, I'm just like guessing where to go. Thank God I don't have a drift in my joysticks anymore. Because <laughs> I used to. Francis Morello. <laughs> That's what's his face's wife, right? Wait, what did I say? Uncle Francis? Oh. 
I thought it was the dude's wife. Guess I didn't take a good look at the picture. My bad. I guess because we kind of found his wife uh, in the building. It was the doll that guy was head off, right? I thought getting outside would make things better. Did you hear that? There's something out there. It's a forest. It could be anything. Yeah, really? F you. That was way too effing loud. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> wonder if he's got cameras out here, too. Can you not freak me out any more than I already am? This is usually where you'd bring up the Topeka shit show. You hear that? What? Like... Uh, whimpering. Is that... We are not gonna cut a dog. Need a hand? Oh, who? <laughs> Aaron, holy shit. You're okay. Uh. Oh my god. I thought you guys were dead. Where are Kate and Jamie? We got separated in the woods. I didn't. I was too scared to stop and look. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's gonna be okay, Aaron. They'll get here. I found a way inside. Come on. 
Amazing. Well done, Aaron. Let's figure out how to get this thing working. Flashlight, please. So what happened to the dog? We didn't see it, like, run away, though. But we didn't see get, see it, see them get killed by the... by Demont, so... I guess the dog is alive? I don't know. We didn't see... We didn't see it run out with Kate and Jamie. That dog better live. I can't believe they actually gave us an option to, like, cut a dog's throat. Like, ugh. I'm personally, if you guys know my channel for a while, like, you know that I'm personally not a fan when, like, video games, like, have, like, options like that. Unless it's, like, a rabbit, like, zombie dog, but, like, I don't know. Like, I, they do that on purpose. Like, they put, like, the cute, like, you know, they put the animal in the game to make you feel something, you know what I mean? Like, an emotional thing, but I feel like it's such a bullshit, you know... I think it's bullshit pettiness. I, I personally just don't like it. Where they put uh, the animal in the game. Because it's too easy, is, I guess is where I'm going with. Well, on Monday. What's well, just my personal uh, opinion on that? Sorry. The rants on that all day. It was almost five in the morning. About to go walk my dogs and eat some food. Breakfast. Cinnamon toast crunch. The taste you can see. Actually, no, is that the right slogan? Is that Cookie Crisp? Cookie Crisp. Looks like there may be another boat on the island. Okay, it seems like Monday and Dumont, they're like somehow related or they're, they're all connected. Everything's connected. Connections, power. Watchdogs. Man, I could do slogans all day. Finish the fight. <laughs> Come on. 
no way. Why the hell are we shimmy? Don't look down. Don't look down. Don't look down. Tampering with this seal is a federal offense. Wow. That that was a lot. Note to self, you're gonna do something like that. How about lay down on the ground so you don't accidentally fall off? that smell Jesus oh there you are I wasn't expecting you are you early for a change <gasps> I was wondering where this woman was because what you call it we saw her uh, um, with the groundskeeper Hold up, she has a book. Can we like look at the book? The boy who loved. You're a selfish monster. Always have been. Hey. Hey. Who are you? So the boy killed his mother? Is that what we're getting at? Oh, <laughs> Always right to your favorite page. Predictable little shit. I know you. Wait, where did Jamie go? Was it Jamie like right behind me?
God. Have you seen Mark? He's all right. He's trying to get that bloody light going. Mark? Please tell me you can hear me. Mark! I thought I lost you. There's five of y'all. Why y'all running? I can see them, all of you. He killed them. No talking. I said hands where I can see them. Thank God you're here. You have to help us. Until I know what's happening here, no one moves. Sir, sir, behind you, the boat. Seriously, lady? Grab the gun. Get his gun. <laughs> Come on. This I thought Mark dropped his camera. <laughs> Yeah, another one should work. Oh, it's not working. Starter cord. Ah, there. Mm. Work, damn it. Hey, hey, Connie. Good to see you, boy. Come on. Come on.
it is. Barely. I'll take it. We have to call the police. Aim for the lights. You know, I've just had a great idea for series two. All that's missing is a big final twist. Why would you say Good that? Luck finding a host for that bullshit. I'm out. I'm just glad I'm in one piece. <gasps> Are we attacking? No! Oh, Kate. Shiza. That song doesn't put a smile on your face, I don't know what will. We have a non-stop block of your favorite classic rock after this break. No damn commercials. Oh. oh shoot. Shit! And I looked up. And there they were just in the middle of the flipping road, waving their hands and arms like a bunch of crazies. And where are you coming in from? Uh, Fort Wayne. Been driving since 3 a.m. Early start. Well, I was trying to get into the port by 8. Probably not going to make that now, am I? I'd say likely not. You know what? I think I'm gonna see about that studio in Brooklyn. See if I can make it work. After this, starting over feels like a good idea. Yeah. Just promise me you'll tell me how it goes. Only if you promise to keep giving me unsolicited advice. OK. 
count on it. So, probably not the right time to ask this, but... Oh god, what? Are we like... Like, are, are we a thing? Dude, trauma bonding is legit hot. Fuck yes, we're a thing. Need a smoke, buddy. <sighs> yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm trying to quit. Here, all good things must come to an end, but how good was the end for our crew? Hats off for keeping all of them alive. That's so rewarding for you. Has the experience changed them? Kate had a secret. She was traumatized by something that happened a long time ago. But she faced the thing she was most afraid of in the whole world and survived. Jamie learned that she had to trust other people and work with them. And to care for them. Mark had to stop waiting for people to tell him what to do. He had to make his own way in the world. Erin showed everyone that though she might be easily spooked, she found immense courage when she needed it the most. And it took courage to act on the feelings she had for Jamie. And Charlie finally understood that leadership is more than ordering the team around. He had to treat them as equals and let them take the lead when the time was right. I'll tackle the paperwork in the morning. Can you find your own way out? It was, as always, enlightening. I have no doubt we'll meet again in the future. Farewell.
The chain of events are still unclear at this point in time. What we can confirm is that a little after 7.30, a truck driver was flagged down to render aid. The police were called and quickly arrived on scene. The injured are part of a film crew, Lonnet Entertainment, the team behind the Architects of Murder docuseries. Fuck, man. It seems I as like though that they got a little too close to their subject material. Thankfully for them, the nightmare is finally over. Holy shit. Remember how my video went viral? How could we forget? If you bring it up every chance you get. Just listen to this. I got enough views to win a competition. What did you win? An all expense pay trip to an island resort for five. Now I'm interested. Yeah, Mr. Dumet says they're gonna send a limo and everything. This is gonna be so much fun. I'm just gonna have to like mute the mute the audio here and start talking now because they're playing another copyright song and I'm trying to make money off this walkthrough. What? Got bills to pay, y'all. Anyways, and that, ladies and gents, was the Dark Pictures Anthology, The Devil in Me. Thank you all for watching this and thank you all for joining me for this walkthrough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. And before I continue with my TLDR review of this game, ladies and gents, full disclosure, I did receive this free copy of The Devil in Me Dark, uh, Dark Pictures Anthology from Bandai Namco themselves. So please take my opinion of this game with a grain of salt. And with all that being said and out of the, out of the way, ladies and gents, Overall, I quite enjoy myself with this. Uh, like I said, at the beginning of this walkthrough, this is my first Dark Pictures game I've ever played. I've never played Man of Madon, Little Hope, or House of Ashes, but I have watched uh, cutscenes and Let's Plays and streams of the first three Dark Pictures uh, uh, games. And I like them here and there. Uh, I think Devil May Devil Enemy is my favorite because it's more up my alley with like the murder mystery crime drama and whatnot. Um, I, the first two were fine and whatnot, but I didn't like how it was like all oh, it wasn't like none of the supernatural monsters were like real. Then we get to House of Ashes and the zombie vampire things they were real. It, it's really weird, but Devil Enemy was way up my alley with the whole murder mystery and trying to figure out who Duma is and what's with this the the spirit of. H.H. H. Holmes has like the demon devil person inside of him and I guess you know it jumps from person to person really don't know how that freaking works but it was it was interesting also it was interesting trying to piece together like who Dumont really was because I had uh, my assumption was that it was that cop that FBI agent that we kept finding news articles from that he was interrogating the another serial killer who was in on this murder spree that possibly had this soul demon thing from H.H. H. Ohms originally and somehow I'm guessing it passed on to uh, Monday like a lot of it like I think somehow like they are connected like the like the, the FBI, FBI agent Monday and uh, Dumont maybe this the same person I don't know yes no maybe so but um, uh, that's all interesting I wonder what's the relationship between uh also, another thing that wasn't answered was the relationship between Dumont, the killer, and the the Joseph, the person who brought us the, our characters to the island, who we saw later got killed, was killed. We saw his dead body in the boathouse, which leads me, not leads me to believe, but another question is, what happened to his daughter? Because his daughter left with him. Like, did the daughter make it out alive or was she killed as well along with the mother? Because we saw, we know that the mom died on the island as well. So that's you know, a lot of question marks there. I do have to hand it to Supermassive Games, ladies and gents, for making always with their games. Like, from the Quarry, from the other Dark Pictures game, even back with freaking, uh, God, they're, 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 the, the one game that people love on PlayStation 4, which I'm 
blanking on the name right now. Please forgive me. But they keep making very unlikable characters that you do want them to get killed throughout your playthrough. But I started, they started to grow on me here and there. Like, definitely freaking Jamie. I was like, Jamie, homegirl, you don't play around with heights, y'all. Like, she freaking busy. Like, they are like, on, like, not, like what, on top of a cliff. It was a very long freaking drop trying to cross that bridge. And she's busy jumping off the bridge. And Mark's like, what the fuck? Even I'm like, what the fuck? I'm terrified of heights. If someone did that for me, I'm like, oh, man, I ain't getting close to you. You are dead to me. That's freaking terrifying. But we ended up saving all of them. And, you know, they started to grow on me. But the most important character that we did save, ladies and gents, was Connie the dog. Um, he's safe. He's somewhere. I'm guessing he's living with Mark um, and maybe Kate. Because they probably started to get back together. But, yeah. Um like I said, ladies and gents, I did enjoy The Devil in Me. I think it, I thought it was pretty good uh, saving everyone. Uh, my first time playing one of these, and I did enjoy the murder mystery. I'm interested to see where Supermassive Games goes from here. Because I know, I think recently they did announce a season two of Dark Pictures Anthology. So I'm excited to where it goes. Because what the first two was Man of Madonna, Little Hope. And the ghostly town, which wasn't real, that had to do with the rich witch trials, which was in that one guy's head. And man, Madonna was freaking watching. What the hell? Oh, it's raining outside. I was like, what is that outside my window? It's raining outside right now. Um, then man, and Madonna was they were on the boat, took some uh, took some freaking some type of drug, and they imagined all that. And you know, characters can't get killed in that. And House of Ashes, like I said, the vampires, zombie, alien people, they were real. So that's interesting. And now we have a murder soul devil baby that hops between serial killer serial killers. Plus another thing. We saw at the end right there with uh, the the stu college students were like, Oh yeah, like Mr. Dumont is gonna invite us to this place. But I'm like, wait, did the did our other characters like Charlie Mark did they not tell the police officers that hey, this person Dumont Dumont is killing people. There, he's the one who's doing all this. They, they did they not like say the name of the person who was doing this? That seems very freaking weird. Depending on when the ending of what that cutscene we saw, depending on where the timeline of that takes place, but it seems like it takes place after, like they, you know, after everything. So yeah, that's pretty bloody freaking weird on that part but yeah interested to see where super massive games go with goes with the dark pictures anthology in the future so yeah ladies and gents overall overall dark pictures anthology the devil in me pretty good i enjoyed it enjoyed the murder mystery uh crime aspect of it didn't enjoy how much it how poorly it ran on my original xbox one though but i am on my og xbox one playing this but there was a lot of stutters but like i said enjoyable Connie the dog lives. Um, so yeah, for my next gameplay walkthrough, ladies and gents, I just want to touch on this for a quick second. <laughs> Plan on doing another horror game. Uh, my next big gameplay walkthrough will be the Callisto Protocol for the old Dead Space developers. I cannot wait. It's basically a spiritual successor of Dead Space, and I can't wait. Oh man, Dead Space 2 is my favorite horror game of all time, and I cannot freaking wait for the Callisto Protocol. Uh, it comes out December 1st. Uh, so yeah, be expecting part one of that walkthrough dropping on December 1st or December 2nd, which I think is a Thursday or Friday. One of those two days, and I can't freaking wait. Uh, maybe if I have time before then, I will fit in my new Tales from the Borderlands walkthrough, which I'm sorry I have been putting off because other walkthroughs keep coming on my plate. Uh, Hopefully, if I have the time, I might be able to fit in my new Tales from the Borderlands walkthrough uh, before Callisto Protocol. But if not, it most certainly will come out uh, be after Callisto, my Callisto Protocol. So probably like maybe the second week of December. One of those two, two timelines for my new Tales from the Borderlands. But yeah, next gameplay walkthrough will be the Callisto Protocol. So get ready. And yeah, I think that's about it. Like I said, ladies and gents, thank you all for watching this. And thank you all for joining me for this walkthrough. Thank you all for the love and support on this walkthrough and on my other walkthroughs and on my channel as a whole. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciate it. Before I let you guys all go, if you guys can please leave a like on this video. If you guys like what you saw, please subscribe for more content that helps about the channel a lot. Also, when you do subscribe, make sure you hit that little notification button next to the subscribe button uh, so you don't miss out, on, uh, miss out on any content I post this channel. Uh, please share my channel and my videos to 
all your friends, families, cats and dogs, and whoever who not. And you guys can all follow me on Twitter at Beta B A Y T U H. If you want to keep supporting me even further than just subscribing to my YouTube channel, leaving a like, share my channel and my videos to all your friends and families, please consider donating some of your extra money so you have lying around to my Patreon and or PayPal and or through YouTube Super Thanks. That is patreon.com slash beta B A Y T U H and or PayPal.me slash beta B A Y T U H and or through YouTube Super Thanks. All you have to do is click on any one of my videos that are monetized, which is 99.9% .9 of them. Hit that little money heart thanks button and donate however much you want any and all donations ladies and gents are much appreciated and is 100 completely optional and with all that being said ladies and gents without further ado my name is malcolm also known as beta and i will catch you guys all on my next walkthrough let's play channel post update live stream if i get myself a better pc or whatever else i do next on this channel which is very 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 soon peace thank you all for watching and i love you all and Connie the dog lives. This is Commander Stafford, the forward reconnaissance vessel Cassiopeia. After successfully rendezvousing with a Charybdis marker, we have detached the booster ring and spreads are high as we make our final approach to Tau City F. The ship has suffered a hull impact, but damage is minimal, and our technicians are restoring full functionality. This is Thomas Carter. Something's wrong with Sims. She's trying to kill me. Uh, I think... Our next transmission will be broadcast from orbit around humanity's future home. Staff it out.